Jake's farm, which is in the Athen Tablelands of Mariba, uh, has been there for over 30 years. They grow and distribute and roast their own bean. Out here we have 85,000 Arabica coffee trees producing a really high quality coffee. The whole plantation consists of about 200 acres with two kilometres of creek frontage. We also have a plantation cafe as, along with uh, obviously the, the kitchen and the factories and everything else that goes along with it. We have uh, various pumps around the property that are consuming electricity. We also have four residences here as well. So along with the residences, the factories, the cafe, the kitchen, the pumps, there's a lot of energy usage to keep a farm going. The biggest energy user on the farm is the pumps. If you can negate the, the power that you use in your pumps, then you're on a winner. Now that isn't very expensive for the water itself. The main consideration is the power pumping the water out of the creek over the coffee trees. So the brief was, uh, stage one was to do the 85 kilowatts. So you wanted a panel that could maximise this return. Being that Mariba is an hour west of Cairns, it does get quite hot there and they were really worried about the temperature coefficient. He knew all, lot, all about that and he wanted the Neon R. So that was a pretty easy brief for us to fulfill. The Neon R, obviously, arguably the best panel on the planet at the moment. And uh, I mainly chose it because of the technology behind it. Also the temperature coefficient. We're up here in North Queensland and it gets hot in the hot weather, the panels are going to be performing a hell of a lot better. He did a lot of research before approaching us, and hence we quoted with a high-end LG Neon R range panel, 85 kilowatts, across four electricity accounts to supply them with 44 cents. So we're right in the midst of uh, uh, installing that on existing carport roofs and then we've got another 80 kilowatts to cover their cafe and also a pump house. Across the installations, there'll be 165 kilowatts of solar panel and inverters um, gonna be installed across the four sites and savings, stage one, 85 kilowatts will have a payback period of less than two years, even with the high end quality spec. The cafe and the pump house, which will go on the cafe and the workshop, uh, is expected to have a payback of about only three and a half years. So he's, um, economically, he, he said it was a no-brainer. Oh, it's crazy if you don't. If you're, if you're not using solar power, you're uh, A, you're costing a lot of extra carbon dioxide going into the atmosphere. B, you hit pocket. <laughs> it's the main consideration. 